She's a terrible witch. She even tried to steal your blessing. Can you imagine that? Times are so um, unpredictable and things are just happening here and there. We've got to keep awake. We've got to pray without season. The Bible says there was a story in the Bible where there were two women who gave birth to their children. And while they were sleeping at night, one slept on their child and the child died. And instead of mourning her child and accepting her loss, she decided to exchange her child and take her friend's dead, um, um, child and give the dead child to her friend. That is how evil people are. If, have, if they both slept and, you know, the other person was, whose child was still alive, she slept in confidence thinking that she was maybe with a co, um, you know, a sister or maybe they, they were colleagues, whatever the case may be. And she just forgot herself. She was just carefree. And at night, her, her, her child was exchanged when God brought this um, scenario to my mind it made me to understand that never be too comfortable always pray if not even the very people you consider um, your close friends can rob you of the blessings of God the Bible says why men slept the enemy came and saw tars so at night you should develop a strategy to always pray at night that is when the devil schemes against you that is when your destiny is manipulated that is when your destiny is exchanged that is when the devil comes and plants things that are not supposed to be they're making your heart your life difficult you've got to be intentional about your prayer life do not trust anyone be intentional wherever you are try to pray and commit your destiny into the hands of god so that um, people who manipulate people's destiny will not see us in the mighty name of jesus i cover your life with the blood of jesus i cover your destiny with the blood of jesus the enemy will not steal nor manipulate your destiny in jesus mighty name may the lord bless you and keep you Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.